Hello everyone, welcome back to this week video change log. It's been a while since I recorded the last one, it's been a pretty busy month, but we are announcing today a plethora of new features. So I'm really excited about this and let's start immediately because we have so many things to see. So the first release is a big one, is a one that I've been waiting for for a very long time. So you know that until now you could split test everything in your audience, you could create any combination. So male versus female, young people versus old people, interest, whatever you want to split test, you could test all the variation. But we knew something was missing and we knew that some of you wanted to test not variation of the same audience, but you wanted to test totally different audiences. This is now possible. Now, when creating a campaign, you have a big choice when it comes to targeting. You can pick if you want to test different variations of the same audience, or if you want to use your saved audiences to split test two totally different audiences. This way, you don't have to just do like uh, geek guys, but and testing male versus female, but you can test two totally different uh, audiences. You can split test geek people versus sporty people, for example just create the audience from the asset manager or when creating other campaigns and you'll be able to just click plus and split test one or more audiences so this is a great new feature and of course also in the analytics you will see a breakdown of which audience is working better you'll be able to stop immediately the audiences which are underperforming the other two new releases are regard location targeting we made two major improvements. The first one is that you can now target macro areas. So when targeting your campaigns, you uh, no longer need to add multiple countries or like United States and Canada or all the single countries of Europe, but you can decide that you want to target Europe or North America or South America or worldwide and immediately target all the countries in that region. So this is a big time saver for people doing international campaign, but we also made another improvement. If you click on the small tag in the location field, you can now open a map. And if you want to be not super wide, like targeting the whole Europe, but if you want to be extremely specific, you can now use a map to pinpoint exactly the location that you want to target. So are you advertising a local business? You can now pinpoint exactly where your store is and target people around that area. And let's come to two more new features that are regarding our PDF report builder, which is getting better and better every month. So we have two new features for your reports. The first one is very visual. We know that you love our graph, you love our data tables, but you wanted some time to highlight the most important data. So there we go. Here's a new widget that you can use to insert in your report big boxes with a single metric and you can select as many metrics as you want. You can also define if you want one big box per line or if you want three metrics per line. And that's not all. You can also flag a simple checkbox and decide that you want in this box not only to show how many clicks you have received in the last week, but you can also compare this data with uh, the same metric, but in the previous period. So in the seven days before now or in the month before now, according to the time frame that you have selected for your report. This will make your PDF report for your customers, for your boss, much more appealing. And the other improvement is in the delivery of your reports. When setting up automatic delivery, you have more granular control on which day of the week we will use or if you want to send the report at the beginning of the month, etc. So before this, it was more generic. Now you can specify exactly which day or which period of the month you want to receive your custom report in your inbox. The last improvement regards website custom audiences. You can now create uh, more specific custom audience. When you select that you want to create a website custom audience with a specific combination, you can now pick if you want to use just mobile or desktop targeting and you can filter not only by URL, which you always could, but you can also filter out by events. 
uh, events are sometimes a bit complicated so maybe we will write a blog post about this but basically with Facebook pixel you can track advanced events like hey someone just downloaded an ebook from my website someone just completed this operation on my mobile app and with this new website custom audience interface you can also retarget people based on the action that they perform on your website so as you can see this has been a pretty busy month we have released a lot of amazing feature that I had hoped for a long time. Uh, I'm pretty sure you will get the most out of them, especially please immediately start testing our split test of totally different audiences because I believe that can make a big difference for your campaigns. Uh, that's all for this video change log. Thank you. Have a great day. Ciao, ciao.